How we doing today guys? Sam over here at Anglers and I've got a bunch of pickerel stuff here in front of me. It's that time of the year for pickerel fishing. It's really heating up and of course you have the big CCA tournament that's going on for a number of years now. A lot of fun to fish, really great conservation minded organization putting together a cool tournament. We're excited this year with Diablo we're going to have a Calcutta. So how you get into the Calcutta is you spend $75 in Diablo products with us that are registered for the Calcutta. You can do all that stuff online as far as signing up goes. So really excited about that. We can bring ourselves into the tournament this year which is really cool but over here in front of me i have a bunch of different pickerel lures and they all serve a purpose and they all have a time when you want to fish them and today that's what i'm going to talk about when i'm going to fish really all of these lures now of course you don't have to have all of them to go out there and have success but these are some of the top picks that our staff has put together that we really like so Starting out top here is something we've been making in the shop for a number of years is the inline pickerel spinners. I really like these baits because first off they're weedless and a lot of the applications I want to be pickerel fishing in, I've got weeds, I've got timber, I've got all that stuff along the bait that I'm casting into. It's nice to have a weedless profile. It has an inline spinner out in front of it. so like a classic MEPS, but it's weedless. And we have a really nice profile there. These are the three and a half inch Gambler little easies behind it. That's a fabulous rig for you guys. And you can fish that. Um, I really like fishing that when I'm in kind of a flat. So a lot of these creeks that I go into, I'm not always targeting the shoreline because a lot of times they're not always on the shoreline. Sometimes they're out there suspended a little bit. And I like blade baits or anything with a blade for covering water. So when I'm fishing these flats in the upper parts of the creeks, I might have two and a half, three feet of water for a big stretch. That's where I'm going to do these because I can cover a lot of water and I have a lot of drawing power with those blades. So usually when I'm fishing blades, I like to do that in those flat areas, those big open areas. Another, another lure I like to throw is jerk baits, and those are the same kind of things. Um, I can't be around as much structure with these because they have the treble hooks. However, banging them off of a stump really creates a really great reaction bite. So we have a bunch of different ones. You see the Rappel of Rip Stops here, which is probably our most popular. These are really a top tier bait for you guys out there. Like I said, again, this is more of that open water stuff. I'm out there on the flats. Uh, that's when I'm gonna have really good success with those. Another bait is a classic fluke. This is a old school bait, but it does so well for these pickerel. We have a bunch of different colors. White is always a good one to go with, but also a natural tone can be really good, especially if the water cleans up a little bit as we push further into the winter months. I'm gonna rig these weedless here on a four-aught weedless hook. Three-aught if I'm using a little bit lighter gear. I don't have quite the bigger rod to set the hook. I'll go down to the three-aught, but I like the four-aught. I think it hooks them a little bit better. Twitch these along, and this is something I can fish anywhere. I can fish it in those open flat situations I was talking about, but I can also take this and put it to any cover I want because when I'm rigging them like this, it's going to be weedless. So that's another great tactic for you guys out there. Another one is swim jigs. This is probably going to be my favorite lure for pickerel. I can fish these in any sort of application, whether that be open water, whether it be up tight against the bank. They come in a bunch of different colors. So right underneath is the classic paddle tails. Now you're gonna be putting these behind the swim jigs. Paddle tails get bit a ton, but the cool thing I get with the swim jig is that secondary action. Not only do I have the paddle tail moving in the back, but also as that paddle tail kicks and rolls, it makes that skirt undulate and move in the water column, and it creates that secondary action opposed to the single action I get with the paddle tail. Now, when am I gonna fish a swim jig and a paddle tail in a different kind of atmosphere? If it's really, really clean water, I really like the, the subtleness I get with just the paddle tail and the jig head. But if I have a little bit of dirty water, I want that extra action to bring those fish in, but also to look more natural in that dirty water. But if I'm out there and the water's super crystal clear, a lot of times I'll stick with just a regular jig head so that I can have more of a, a finesse approach to it. And I'll rig that up on a bunch of different baits, whether it be a weedless hook like you see here. If you're fishing the Z-Man products, you're going to need these, the Pro Bullet Weights here um, because they don't, they don't conduce to the uh, screw lock you get. But for the Z-Man baits, that's a really good option there. Another one down here are the classic MEPS. Now in the CCA tournament, we can only fish single hooks. So you will have to trim off a couple of these barbs on some of these three hook lures. The MEPS is just a classic bait. It's been out there for a long time. A lot of people love throwing uh, inline spinners, like I said earlier, with the weedless ones we have. These I'm going to fish in a little bit more open water. I can't quite get them as tight to cover, but it's a really effective bait that's been out there for a long time. Down on the bottom, I have some of my big bite baits. Um, I'm really looking for that one big bite that day, these spinner baits. Now, I want to fish these in a little bit warmer day. As it gets colder, these fish are going to start to slow down a little bit. Even though they're pickerel and they bite all winter long on lures, they do start to slow down just a touch as we get into the cooler months. But right now, 
if I'm out there and I want to get that big bite on the first day of the tournament, which is today, I'm probably going to be throwing that. I get really big bites, but like I said, I'm not going to catch too many fish, but I'm looking for those bigger bites. Another bait that we have on here is a jig head. Those are the Willow Vibes. Um, you guys all know Jimmy here at the shop. He is obsessed with those. They really do well for him. That's something we're going to throw in open water a lot, but also because it has the blade out in front of the main jig head there, you really can get it into some cover because that jig jig will be a little bit protected because that blade out in front kind of pushes some stuff out of the way so you can get those into a little bit deeper cover than you could with just a traditional jig head so i know i ran through a lot of information there but i just wanted to talk about all these lures because they all do serve a different purpose so we're really excited for this pickle tournament we can't wait to see what size fish you guys bring in but uh good luck out there and have a good one